adding and deleting annotation scales. In these uh, dimensions, we only have one annotation scale, since, hence we only get one triangle scale showing up. But in this one, we have multiple scales, since we get the two triangles showing up. If we want to add multiple scales, right now these are at one to one, and I like to add one to two. So I'm going to go up into my annotation scaling uh, panel, and I'm going to go over here to add and delete scales. I'm going to click on the button, and it says select annotative objects. I'm going to select, and I can select more than one here. So I'm going to select all these since they're all affected. And I'm going to hit enter. And right now it shows it as one the one being the only scale on the list. I'm going to add a scale. I'm going to add a scale one the two. I'm going to say OK. And then I'll hit OK. Now, when I hover over, you'll see I get multiple scales. All right. Now let's test this out. If we go into our layout tab, we select on our viewport scale. Right now we're in one to one. And when we go to one to two, everything shows up just correctly. Automatically they adjust the text height and etc. So they're still an eighth inch tall. When we go back to one to one, it automatically adjusts and the text heights go down to an eighth inch tall. So everything works great. Let's go back into our model space. This one here, um, we have too many uh, annotative scales on it, so I like to delete an annotative scale. So I'm going to go up to our annotative scale panel, select on our add and delete scales. I'm going to select on this scale, hit enter. You'll see I get the list. I have one to one and one to two, but I no longer need one to four. I thought I was going to need that for a different scale, so now I can just come over and hit delete and I can hit OK and you can see I'm still now uh, having multiple scales and uh, and we can even test this out one more time we're gonna go up and add and remove and I'm gonna actually take out my one to one scale at this point just for a test and oop. Uh, not sure what I did there, but let me do that again. I'm going to go up here and do add, select on it. I'm going to take out one to one. I'm going to delete, say OK. And, oh, I'm fine. Notice I'm down the one to one down here in my annotative scale, but when I go to one to two, it's there. So I even tricked myself. Um, now, if I go back into my B size, you'll see that I'm currently at one to one so it does not show up but when I go to one to two my dimension shows up so um, adding and deleting annotation scales is we go up to here and we pick on it and we either add a scale in or delete a scale and uh, and then depending on which viewport annotation scale we're at it'll determine what is visible. But remember, I could always go over here and display all of them if I wanted to.